Sometimes throughout your phase, you may feel a certain way, and if you're concussed that same phase, it's important that we can recognise the difference between a concussion and period symptoms. Um, because we all want to play rugby, we all want to be back on the field as soon as possible. Um, and if this app can have that impact and that effect on concussion or period, then it's a win. India, uh, you know, per se has the highest number of fatalities at 150,000 uh, deaths a year. And uh, I'm not new to the issue because um, my family uh, has also suffered uh, quite directly because of the issue. Almost every single road crash is preventable. Uh, it is not an output of development, it is a public health issue. Uh, because injury is something that impacts uh, not just individuals, but also society as a whole uh, by taking away productivity, uh, pushing families back into poverty and so on and so forth. Save Life Foundation uh, is best known for getting India its first ever Good Samaritan Law. Uh, you see, traditionally, uh, after a crash would occur, uh, people uh, would be hesitant to help an injured person on the road um, out of fear of getting involved in a legal hassle, a procedural hassle, sometimes, uh, in some cases, uh, even being implicated for that particular crash. Um, our work around the Good Samaritan Law was focused on creating a conducive environment uh, for people to come forward and assist the injured person and by assistance I mean something as simple as making a phone call for help uh, which earlier people were afraid to do. The reason I say that uh, road crashes are preventable is because every single crash um, involves three elements. It involves a driver, it involves a vehicle, it involves um, uh, the road infrastructure. The crash may happen because of human error, uh, but the injury might happen because of exposed infrastructure or uh, a, a, a vehicle that is not very safe. People who are injured in road crashes, the law provides for creation of schemes to provide them immediate medical care. And this is a big part of the challenge in India because 
not everybody uh, has insurance not everybody can afford um you know uh, you know high uh, high end trauma care If we start from the nervous system, uh, if we are stressed, have anxiety or depression, then it would increase fatigue. We will have sleep disturbances, and in the longer course, these can even lead to debilitating diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. So, just starting from the smallest steps, it leads to release of excessive stress hormone. which is called as cortisol and cortisol is the primary stress hormone in our body which has effects on each of the organs starting from the nervous system to our cardiovascular system and digestive system our mental health and our physical health are not two distinct entities for example if we feel stressed or are depressed have anxiety issues our bodies react we see the increase in temperatures in our body we are not able to control our movements similarly if we have uh, physical health conditions maybe like diabetes or hypertension or obesity issues we have severe mental health problems as well as a repercussion so seeing them two as in isolation would be a mistake one affects the other and that is always like how it is throughout life our body we have uh, the cells which are called as the lymphocytes which i would say are the defense mechanism of our body and if we consider our immune system as an army which is protecting us from the invaders that is bacteria and viruses and if that gets weakened because of the mental health issues then we are susceptible to most of the common cold infections as soon as we are stressed cortisol release increases in our body that first of all uh, gives rise to weight gain it again uh, also gives rise to depression and anxiety issues when we are depressed and, uh, and uh, are anxious then we also look up for coping mechanisms and the easiest coping mechanism is that we look on for emotional eating that's when you eat sugar you eat junk food it gives us that instant pleasure or gratification that's how like dopamine is released in our body it makes you feel good for some time but in the longer run this coping mechanism or pleasure or emotional eating i would say would in turn give rise to issues of obesity and would increase the amount of trans fat which is the bad fat in your body which also gives rise to the heart diseases so it's like a vicious circle and to break this vicious circle we need to address both physical and mental health issues together i think workplaces are the foremost setting when a uh, when a person grows into adult age that is where like the place mental health should be nurtured as we spend about 8 to 10 hours on our uh, of our day average in a workplace setting and i would say it should be infused in the leadership
our country has been a champion of conservation uh, over uh, the past 30 years. This year we are celebrating the 20th anniversary of Quitizina. Uh, Quitizina is our uh, go baby gorilla naming ceremony where every year we give a name to new baby gorilla born uh, during the year. The population of mountain gorilla, which was almost extinct uh, 30 years ago today, uh, we, we have 30% um, increase in the, in the population. Our um, ticket price to visit the gorilla is currently at $1,500. It's not uh, a low price, uh, but there's a reason why we put it at that price. We put it at that price because first we want to guarantee an experience. We uh, also reinvest uh, the revenues from the national park to sustain um, uh, the, the gorillas. And also um, we reinvest 10% of the revenues of the park uh, in the communities surrounding the, the, the national park, which means building schools, building hospitals, um, building um, roads and so on and so forth. We injected about $10 million uh, in the communities and that has proven to be life-changing for the people living around. A couple of years ago, a lot of the um, people who are now rangers were poachers. Uh, they would, they would uh, actually um, kill the, the, the gorillas to sell to, you know, uh, whoever wants pieces of their bodies. But today, uh, the former poachers are now rangers. Uh, it's about uh, earning a living. It's about dignity. It's about seeing changes. Um, and uh, I think what we've achieved here is an incredible balance between um, conservation and uh, improving the, the life of the people. When we did the, the rewilding of the National Kagera Park, where we have the Big Five, we were uh, supported by South Africa. Um, so we were able to get the white rhino back, you know, reintroduce white rhinos in Rwanda from South Africa, reintroduce lion from South Africa. Uh, and this cooperation, this Pan-African cooperation is also very important. So I think the message here is for our African countries is also that working together, we can achieve so much, uh, we can, we can reshape our tourism product, we can improve our tourism product by working together and, 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 and that's key.